beautiful crafting friends how are you all doing i hope you're doing absolutely well thank you for returning to watching another one of my videos of a junk journal flip through and welcome all new subscribers it's lovely that you all like to come along and watch my videos and i hope i give you some inspiration on your own creativities right so i've completed this journal this is based on animals in the future within steampunk so and we'll take a flip through but also i've done this to go with it as well so it's got lots of pockets this is a digital that i got off of etsy so and i'm now creating loads of them to go with so it's a little extra something to go with each journal that i make so it's full of pockets and tags and little writing areas and i've done a bit of staining on there so ideal to put in a handbag <laughs> to add photos little notes of when you go traveling all those little goodies right so we'll head on into the main journal so this is a wooden picture frame that um, i got from our hobby shop um, i've painted it up stained it added some um, copper leaf in and some metal work as well and then also i made some of these for, uh, out of clay in a mold and i've added those there and then this is all needlework that i've done with some little french knots there lots of stitching and then the butterfly the same and then what i've done the other half of the butterfly i've used leather effect i've um, done some little swirly wire pieces with um, copper leaf inside I'd like done it made it into um, flakes and that and then we've got our um, cogs going on there and then to the side so this is done on like a velvet um, fabric so it's got three signatures and then we've got a little dingle dangle there to add your little bits and then a huge pocket on the back with some more cogs and then onto the side we've got a chain closure and then it's just a bulldog clip and then obviously we've got some dingle dangles going on there which is actually attached to there with you down there and then we'll head on inside so in here first let me make sure you are in frame we have some tags going on inside of these pockets and there's three in total to flip up so ideal to put pictures you know, little bits and pieces images there little writing area and each one has a tag and then in the back here we've got a double pocket there and then i mean look how cute that panda bear is so it's a large journaling card and then here in the first signature is an actual large envelope to well pocket i would say large um, pocket to fill with lots and lots of goodies and in here I've just put a little notebook there and there's some more that copper leafing going on and loads of writing paper this is all hand dyed by Linda a lovely lady who sent me loads which I've enjoyed putting in all my journals so thank you Linda and just um, some cord there to tie it up to keep it safe and then we have a little um i've done these i've got one here yeah so i use tracing paper um and done a load of stamping and i got asked on 
TikTok, my um, page on uh, my thing on TikTok, that does it smudge. No, it doesn't. Um, I actually, because they're finding there's a smudging on trays and paper, I actually use Memento Tuxedo Black and it dries instantly and it doesn't smudge at all well. As you can see, nothing. So I just got that little pocket there and then a little journaling card there. So into the main writing signatures, I've got a little bit of, um, what's the name there? We go into this first one and you've got Blackbird. You've got a little dangle there of a cog. And then just a little journaling card there. And that is of a bumblebee with some cogs on. I will link below the digitals I have used in here. And then this beautiful mouse, Mr. Mouse. And some more of that copper leaf in. And that's a large journaling card. And then another journal card with this beautiful, um, is it hummingbird? Hummingbird, I think. And then I've created some of these. So they're envelopes out of the same with the tracing paper. And then on the other side is a journaling card. Master Jig, what are you up to under this table? Have it over there, like so, and then some more of this beautiful hand dyed paper. And then we go into these pockets here, and we've got some more journaling cards there. And there is another pocket there, one there, and one at the back, so, like so. And in you go, in you go, like that. And then this one is um, an altered envelope. And you've got some um, of that tracing paper there again. So it's a large pocket on the side. And then here we have a little cog and some more of that amazing dyed paper. I've used it everywhere. <laughs> And then we have a puddy cap. So that's and some more of that tracing paper. And then another pretty little card. Some vintage um, music paper. And then we have another one of those pockets, the one with the giraffe. So it's a little side pocket there. I'm sure I've put zinc on there. I'll find something to go on that. And then a kangaroo. And then another one of those envelopes. And they're beautiful. I love these images of these animals. They're so pretty. And then we have a flip-up writing area. And that is also a pocket. And behind there is another journaling card. What have you got, young man? What have you got? Oh, what's that? Oh, always got to have something, haven't you? Right, and this is, I've got two of these. So this is the first one. There's a little cog there hanging off a clock. And then we just go... Like so. <laughs> then back up again. So you've got some little writing areas there. I enjoyed making them. Another large journaling card with a camel. Looks like he's got a city on his back. And another journaling card. And one of an octopus. So as you can see, I've used a lot of that copper leaf in throughout. It's another little writing card. So, and then we have a mouse there, another. another envelope, the journal card, and then that one there, 
and then we have three in this pocket so this is just a little writing one like so go in there one of the little mouse and then i've used some of that tracing paper there and then one of the peacock so he just moves around there and then another pocket there and a squirrel and then there here's the next one there and he just folds that like so come on now you come we've got a ostrich there so there's more different images Another envelope and have the wasp and panda bear pocket and a beautiful elephant full of cogs absolutely gorgeous image and then we have another pocket here I can't think what that bird is pretty little bird though like so Another little journaling card. Then we've got a polar bear and the panda bear on the other side. And then another tag there that flips out, and it's another little pocket. And then the last little image of Mr. Mouse there into that little pocket there. And then in the back. Yeah, making sure your slim's short. Is some more side pockets with tags. And then we have that image there. So that's it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this flip through. And it's given you some inspiration on your masterpieces. Um, thank you ever so much for joining me on this video. And I will see you on the next one. I promise I won't leave it so long. <laughs> I promise I've got to think what one I'm going to do next so have a fantastic day and happy crafting everybody take care bye